Hey guys, it's Will coming to you from my home studio with some really exciting news. I am thrilled to announce the upcoming release of a brand new album. This has been a labor of love for the past year. I want to tell you a little bit about it. You know, I've been making music long enough now that I find myself almost constantly being asked what I'm working on next. And a lot of times people have really specific questions. I've heard from many of you asking questions like, man, could you make some good old fashioned gospel music? Or, Dude, I wish you'd make some more rock and roll. I've had requests for hymns, bluegrass, country, um, just about everything else in between. And um, the truth is that I love all those kinds of music. I'm learning to love country. <laughs> but uh, but seriously, like growing up in the mountains of North Carolina, I was surrounded by hymnals and hoedowns the entirety of my childhood. And then going to college at North Carolina Western University, I was in the Spectrum Pop Music Ensemble. We played all kinds of classic rock and pop songs. And obviously, I'm a worship leader, so I have a huge passion for that style of music as well. It's really not possible for me to pick a favorite kind of music to make. They're all an extremely important part of who I am. And that's what this record is called, Who I Am. In this album, more than ever, I've tried to put as many little pieces of me as I possibly could. There's some new takes on some classic hymns. There's bluegrass. There's some gospel. There's some pretty serious rock and roll. A couple poppy songs. Um, obviously, a couple like um, intimate worship ballads. There's a little piece of something for everybody on this record, and I'm really excited for you guys to hear it. As well, the title, Who I Am, has a really deep and personal meaning for me. As a um, hyperactive, kind of anxious person, um, identity is something that I often struggle with. Um, finding my place in this world. Am I doing enough? Am I everything that I should be? But one thing that I know is I can be most confident in who I am when I am most sure of who God is. Because who I think I am changes sometimes almost every day. Um, but who God is and who He says I am doesn't change. When I put my faith and my trust in that, I can be confident in who I am and everything God has called me to do. That's my prayer for you guys as you listen to these songs. Not only would you enjoy um, the good music and um, be encouraged listening, but I pray that it would help you find your place and a deeper understanding of who God says you are through listening to these songs. Just like we did for Take You There last year, I'm excited to partner with you guys to take these songs out to the world. Here's what's going to happen. There are different tiers of places that you can give on the Kickstarter website. It will be linked in this video. Every single person who gives at least $10 to the Kickstarter campaign will get an autographed CD from me later this year. There's extra special goodies as you go up the ladder, so be sure to check those out. Our ground level goal is $200. If we can make that, I'll be able to purchase the CDs that I need to be able to give to you guys as well. You guys will be excited to know that I have put together my own cover version of Zach Williams' Empty Grave. That has been a really popular song at the Bridge Mount Olive where I pastor as of late. And I'm excited to introduce my brand new studio version of that to you guys. But to do that, I also need to purchase the rights to it. Um, and so if we can make the $200 mark, that will help me get the CDs that I need and be able to purchase the licenses to be able to include that song on this record as well. If we can get to $300, there are several national songwriting contests that I would like to enter some of these songs in. Um, many of you ask me, hey, are you ever going to try out for things like American Idol or The Voice? And I don't necessarily know that that's where God's calling me at this particular moment. But I have a lot of interest in um, the American songwriting competition or the John Lennon songwriters competition. I'll uh, put links to those in the description as well if you'd like to learn more about those. But both those have a small entry fee. And so if I can get to $300, not only will we be able to accomplish all the CD things, but I'll also be able to submit a couple songs to those talent shows as well. And who knows where the Lord could take this music. If we can get to $500, I hope to make a fantastic music video for you guys to enjoy. And if we get further than that, who knows what will happen. I would love to make a live record someday. Don't know that that will happen in this album cycle. But if you guys are behind it and you guys support me by praying and by giving whatever you can, we'll be excited to see where the Lord takes these new songs. Thank you guys so much for all your encouragement. And um, I'm excited, so excited to share these new songs.